we are just about ready to go racing here at Sonoma Raceway. We'll go through the rest of our starting grid as we get a chance throughout the course of the day. Chuck Welch has the pace car to the infield. Joe Contreras will be looking over the field and he puts the green flag in the air and it's time to rock, roll and rumble here in Sonoma. We need to make sure we don't do that again. That was way too close. Field rumbling up through turns one and two. Racing down into turn three, into 3A. Ryan Priest with the lead over Landon Lewis. Landon started second after the win last week at Portland. And look at this gaggle of race cars. And it looks like Cole Custer, he may have the window net down on that number 55 car. That's what that's flapping around there on the 55 window net down for Cole Custer. If he can't get that back up on his own, and that is a real hard job to do, he's going to have to bring it on down pit road. Look at him trying to grab it. Don't normally see that look inside the cockpit. Wait a lap for scoring to recycle as we see the top two have sort of separated themselves as we got one car off the racetrack. Tanner Ryan for the number 16 has come to a stop. And it looks like he may have had some contact. Damage to the left front. Chuck Welch brings the pace car to the infield as we make our way slowly back into turn 12. And we'll look at Joe Contreras' green flag. Go back racing. We complete lap 11. Racing back up the hill. Ryan Priest already grabbing that lead. Landon Lewis slotting back into second. Let's see what Riley Herbst can do here with Sammy Smith. And that is the reason for the caution flag. One more time. Trevor Huddleston able to make it back to pit road, but that car has come to a stop in the middle of pit road. So we will send a push truck out to retrieve him. have a scheduled caution coming at or around lap 32. Let's hope that's the next time we see the caution flag out. As the field comes back through turn 12, Joe Contreras with the green flag back in the air. And once again, Ryan Priest with a great start as the rest of the field scrambles up the hill behind him. William Sawalich dipping the tires off the left side of the racetrack there in the number 18. That was the right side of the racetrack. See Sean Hingarani and Jack Wood slamming fenders a couple of times up the hill through turn two. And the caution flag indeed coming out one more time. Trevor Huddleston coming to a stop through the S's. That will put us under the caution flag for the third time as we come to complete lap number 18. Chuck Welch wisely getting that pace car down into the infield as we get ready to go back. Green flag racing here as we come to complete lap 21. Contreras puts the green flag back in the air. Look at Bradley Erickson spinning the tires on that 88 car. He's going to give up a couple of spots before they get to turn one. Varying strategies playing out here. We've got some fast race cars stuck back in the pack. And look at that. Sammy Smith has worked his way past Ryan Priest as they work through some of that traffic. See a car sideways there at the top of the hill. The number 77 car has gone around. Nick Janitis. Nick will get that car refired. Enjoy the tail end of the field. Eric Johnson Jr. in the 19 car off the pace as he rolls up the hill through turns one and over toward turn two. And that could put us under caution a little early here as he comes to a stop. 
was the lap we were supposed to have our scheduled caution anyhow, but indeed the caution flag does come out as Eric Johnson Jr. comes to a stop down in turn one. Scar headed back down into the infield. See if we can take her to the checkered flag from here. Might be a tall task. We'll see if we can pull it off. Ryan Priest slowly into turn 12. He'll be looking for Joe Contreras to put that green flag back in the air. See what happens down into turn one. People scrambling up the hill. Sammy Smith trying to make some ground up there on Ryan Priest. Couldn't quite make it stick. Riley Herbst with a great restart. He's going to move into third. Parker Retzloff going to pick up a position as well. He's going to take over fifth from Sean Hingarani there in the number 15. Look at Tyler Reif making up some ground in the 41 car. Ryan Priest and Sammy Smith driving off into the distance. Ooh, we're going to have some contact there. Landon Lewis getting into the number 80 of Brian Kamiski and Kamiski going to go around a couple of times. Oh, a tough break for Brian Kamiski. Was battling just outside the top 10 and he is gonna give up a ton of positions. It's Davey Magris in the 14 car. Pointed the wrong direction down there in the hairpin. Davey had a great run last Friday afternoon at Portland. Coming home in the ninth position and couldn't get it turned around quick enough That'll put us under the caution flag for the fifth time here today. On the hammer through the gearbox, up the hill into turn one. Ryan Priest and Sammy Smith go single file, but everybody else stacked up double wide. Riley Herbst skates through turn two. He's going to give up a spot as we see some three wide racing into turn three. Everybody made it through. They're knocking fenders though. Jack Wood and Sean Hingarani come together. Where did Tyler Reif come from? That 41 car has made up a lot of ground on these restarts. Oh, we see cars get together there. Todd Souza in the wall. Eric Nascimento in the wall. That's going to bring out the caution flag for the sixth time today and a lot of damage to the nose of that number four. Scrambling through turn one and up the hill to turn two. Sammy Smith going to fall into second. Lots of contact right there. Sean Hingarani lifted up the rear wheels on that 18 car through turn two. Down into turn three and 3A. Comes Hingarani to the inside of Jack Wood. He's going to take over that position. There, there's Todd Souza in the 13. Knocking fenders with Brian Kamiski. Ooh, Souza's off the racetrack. Nice save right there by Todd Souza. Now that allows Kamiski to move to the other side. They're still going to bang some fenders, and Kamiski's going to make the big save. Wow. Souza went off, and then Kamiski went off. And I'll tell you what, that save right there by Brian Kamiski could be a candidate for the Reese's sweet move of the race. Big time save right there by Brian Kamiski, and I don't think Todd Souza's too happy with him. Oh, Davies all kinds of sideways coming out of turn seven. Slides it across the racetrack and right there backs it in to the concrete barrier there to the inside of turn eight. Or the outside of turn eight, I should say. Another look at it. Going to get up over that curb and upset that car just enough to send it sideways and off the side of the racetrack. Orderly always seems to come on strong here in the late going. Let's see. Oh, I could see it coming. Some contact between Dale Quarterly and Tyler Reif. Quarterly's going to go around. Going to give up a spot to Tyler Reif. Another spot there to Todd Souza.
through the S's for the final time. I don't think he's going to even get up there and put any pressure on Kyle Keller in that number 70 car. Ryan Priest from here can almost coast it home. Through turn 10 for the final time. Kyle Keller going to move over and give him plenty of room down into turn 11. Off the hairpin, he'll be looking at the checkered flag off of turn 12. It has been a clean day. It has been an amazing day. He is going to go to victory lane. Ryan Priest picking up the win in the General Tire 200 here at Sonoma Raceway.